Hilchus Mechira Pedic Tisha Osser. Osser le Moicher Limker le Havere Karka e Metaltlin, Shiesbo Asikan. A person has Karko or Metaltlin, and he knows that there are people that are arguing that this Karko or Metaltlin doesn't really belong to him. He claims it does belong to him. But Lapel, he knows that there are people that are arguing that it doesn't belong to him, and therefore they're going to come to a dentator. So you're not going to sell such a kark and metalton and she ba sikin and be ba din that there's going to be a din whether or not it really belongs to him. Achi yidiyei until he notifies the lekech. She'avol pi she'achrayi solev l'chura when he's selling the item as we learned in the Hemshah that the pastor's advarim is that if someone is going to take it away from the buyer because it never belonged to the seller or because there was a lien on this kark from somebody so then the, the seller is going to have to reimburse the buyer the money that he gave him but nevertheless, ain't no dem reitzer sheitin moyis. If a person doesn't want to pay for an item, and v'yeded l'din v'yanithu b'acherim, he's going to have to have a dintera with other people about this karka. So therefore, this person would definitely not want to buy this karka, and therefore, a person is not allowed to go ahead and sell someone a piece of karka which he knows that there are people that are tiny that this karka is his, is theirs, or this metaltalin is theirs. Or even if they're tiny, that there's a lien on that karka, I mean, and he's not going to have money to pay for that loan. So also, he shouldn't be selling this karka. Now, halacha beis hamoicher karka lechaveri. A person does sell the karka. Va'acha shekana likeach be'echad min adrachim shekena be. The likeach already made a ma'isekinyan. Or bekedim she yistamish ba. He never actually used the karka. So then yotz all of ma'arim. He ma'arim came out on the karka. So the din is hareza yachal azerbe. So he can have karot from the karka. We learned before that if you buy something and you realize that there's a mum, so you can have karata. So we hear also when a person buys something and he never used it, now all of a sudden he realizes that there's a mum. What's the mum? That there's ma'arim, there's no mum in the gufa karka. But the fact is that there's an issue whether this karka really belongs to the seller. Is hareza yachal azerbe. She'en lecha mum golden mizeh. There's no greater mum. Then Ma'arim Shadain Li Nanabe, he wasn't even Nana from the Karka, and already Uboatevim people came to be to bear the Karka. Lefichoch ye bottle a mecca, the the sale is a bottle, Vyagzer Hamaker is Hadomim, Vyasid Din Ma'arim. So the Maker gives back the money and he makes the din the ma'arim. And then I mean, if the Likech wants to buy it again, so he buys it again. It be kids, so you're not allowed to sell a karka which yes shall learn ma'arim there's a din. Or al there is a metaltlin. If a person's lapel maker karkal khaveri and lapel the lekev was kainit and then there was ma'arim, so the din is that that the that the mekech is bottle is considered a mekech tois. Now the Rambam said this din, but again make a karkal khaveri. The Rambam doesn't mention the din by metaltlin. The pastor's advarm if you actually mak the metaltlin, so now it's already brushus al lekev, so even though later on we find out that there's ma'arim and people are tiny, it doesn't belong to them. To the to the moicher, but nevertheless, that's not considered a makach tois. You know, if he actually takes it out of his rishos, so then obviously he's going to have to reimburse him, like we learned the hemshech. But until he actually takes it out of his rishos, the fact that yeshol of edirim vaistois is not considered a bit la mekach legabi metaltlin. It's only considered a bit la mekach legabi karka. That's the Ram starts off a mekach karka lechaveri and ba'acher shekona likir ba'echad min adrach mishkenim b'hem. So kedem she yistamish b'hem. Then there was Ma'arim, so he could tell us about Mekach Tois. Now, the Im Nishtamish Ba'al Likech Kolshu, if the Likech already used the Karka, and Ba'filu Dosh HaMetzer Shalei, the Irvi Minoritz, there's a Musik where a person buys a piece of Karka next to a piece of Karka that he already owns. So, and there was like a little mound of earth that was between the two Karkois, which was like a marker to separate the two Karkois. He went ahead and was Dosh, this Metzer in Irvi Minoritz, so it's ain't the yochel lazebe. He can't have karata anymore. Elo oisa dina ma marim. And as if he made this, even though he didn't use it yet, he only made this level of ma'isekinyan, the ma'isekinyan of dosha matzah shalei. So already he's he's already can't have karata. Elo oisa dina ma marim. And the im hitziu miyadi bedin. If lepel to take it out of the lekech's hands is yagzer ala mikech ala mechik kidin kol adetraf. So then he could go back <coughs> to the seller and month for him to reimburse him. Masha'in came until it's actually taken away from his possession, he could not ask the moicher for the money back. It's nochamo. When a person, a person shouldn't sell, not karka, not metaltalin, which yesha love edirim. If a person lapel sells karka, which yesha love edirim, and the, even though the buyer made already a maisekinian in the karka, but since he never used the karka, so therefore he could have karata, it's considered a mum. 
If, however, the 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 the, 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 the buyer went already and used it, or if the buyer went ahead and he was dosh the meitzar the irvi minaretz. Now, in Ramban, it's not so clear, but the, the Rambam brings from the Taz that this din of dosha meitzar the irvi minaretz is only after a meisakinian. In other the pale being dosh the meitzar and being arvi minaretz could really be used as a meisakinian. That's you're kind of with that. But Lepel, he's saying that it means that he made already a Maisa Kenyan, and after the Maisa Kenyan, he was Dosh HaMetsa Shalei Ve'ir Ve'minaharetz. So then that already so culminates the Kenyan, and therefore now the Lekeah cannot have Harata unless the Kark is actually taken away from him. So only then could the Lekeah go back to the Mecher and ask him for him to reimburse him for the money that he lost. Allah HaGimu. Kol HaMecher Karka Ever Deshar Metaltalim is hareza chayv b'achrius. In other words, the stam, you don't have to make it up, you don't have to stipulate clearly that you're taking a guarantee that if they're going to take away this karka from you or this metalton from you because of the of the seller, he's going to, he's going to reimburse him. It's, it goes without saying. Kol ha-meche karka ever the shar metalton. Is hareza chayv b'achrius, he's chayv in the he's to guarantee the item to reimburse the sell, the buyer if it's taken away from him because of the seller. Ketzer. If the the mekkah this this whatever was bought was taken away from the buyer because of the seller, so now is chayzar lekech when they will call adam shenosan he goes back and he takes all the money that he gave min hamecher shari nilkach hamekach machmosi because the item was taken away from him. Kach adin bechol memker this is a din by every sale afal pishali pirush alikech davar ze alikonastam. Even though he just bought and there was no clear stipulation that he's chay b'achrayas, but it's stam das, it's poshut, that the moicher is chay b'achrayas. Now, I feel the moicher akarka b'shtar. So, if they sold something without a shtar, so you're saying that it's the stam das. What happens if they wrote a shtar? So, if they, if they were meant to be achrayas, so the would have made sense that to write it in the shtar. And the the fact that they didn't write it in the shtar, there's a svara to think that showing that there's no achrayas, we say no. Even if you sold the karka b'shtar, v'lei hiske be'achrayis. So we say, nevertheless, there is a chayv b'achrayusim. The moicher is chayv and achrayis. Shachrayis shle nisker toy sefer. We assume that the fact that it wasn't mentioned was only a mistake of the sefer. In other words, lechatchila was meant to be mentioned, and the fact that it wasn't mentioned is not a raya. You can't be medayik that there's no achrayis. The befeish there is achrayis, unless it says befeish that there's no achrayis, like we learn b'hemsh. Now, b'med varm amurim. This is something a Yiddish Bezin said that the Amos, this whoever, the, 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 someone sold an item, Ruin sold an item to Shimon, and then Levi came along and the Bezin Shal Yisrael took it out of Shimon. He says, No, it's my item. This item that Ruven sold to Shimon, really, it's my item. And therefore, so then Ruven has to reimburse Shimon because a Bezin Shal Yisrael Paskin. That the item really belongs to Levi. If the mekach was taltlun, so they brought edus. So the Levi brought edus that this was an item that was guzzled, and therefore it has to be returned to Levi. And was, even though Ruvain sold it to Shimon, but in reality it belonged to Levi. Oi, or Levi brought edus that this kark which Ruvain sold to Shimon was guzzled. Oi. They're not tining that really was never Ruvins. It was Taka Ruvins. But on the other hand, Levi is tining that he has a lean on that karka. He had a lean on that karka. There was a shibur on that karka. And Mimele was tarif from the Lekeach based on the lean that he had on the seller. Vahakel, the Bezin Shal Yisrael. And this came all the Bezin Shal Yisrael. Paskin, that Levi is Taka entitled to take away the karka from Shimon, which Ruvin sold him. Not a yid came, took away the karka from, from Shimon, but rather a goy, whether it was done based on the dinamelch or it was done on their courts, is a mecher chay bachriyusi. The mecher is not chay bachriyus of something that was taken out of the buyer, not through a Yiddish court. Even though the guy is tiny, know that it's my item. It's not, it was never Ruben's. And the heavy the goyim al and he has a the goyim on it. Nevertheless, ena moicher chayev klum. The moicher is still not chayev. Shezeh oynesu, ena moicher chayev achrayis oynes. 
the, the Meicher is only Chayiv if it's taken away because of him. Because if, if a Bezin Paskins, a Bezin Shal so Paskins, that it really wasn't rightfully the Meichers, and therefore it shouldn't have been, the Meicher never had a right to sell it, and therefore it belongs to Levi, so then, you can, so Shimon could go ahead and take the money back from Reuven. But if Lepel, it wasn't a Yiddish Accord that Paskin that it wasn't Reuven's. So Mela could be it was Reuven's. Elamai, a Goyish Accord took it away from Shimon. A Goyish Accord took it away from Shimon. That's like an oinus that happened. For an oinus, Reuven is not a chray. Reuven is only a chray, a chray if it's taken away because of him. But if the fact that it's taken away later on by some Goyish Accord, even if it's a Goyish Accord and it's from the Melech, nevertheless, Reuven is not a chray to Shimon. Now, vice versa, if they would bring to a Goyish court Yiddish Eidim. The Ramu said before that he brought Vehevi Eid Goyim al So, that if he would bring Yiddish Eidim, if he would bring Yiddish Eidim, so then even though he brought it in a Goyish court, a Goyish court Paskin, that this Karka really doesn't belong to Shimon the buyer, but it belongs to Levi. And that was based on Levi bringing Yiddish Eidim, so then Ruven would have to reimburse Shimon. Halacha Hei. Now, we just said that if an Oynes occurs, so then, even though there was achrayis, even though this bestoma there's achrayis, but the stam achrayis is only when he something that happens because of the meicher. Mashenk and an oynus occurs, like he goes ahead and takes the, the karka away or the metalkin away with a goyish accord based on goyish edim. So then the meicher is not responsible. Now that's talking about when it wasn't clearly stipulated that he'll be responsible. However, a meicher alochei a meicher karka lechaveri vehisneimi. Shekol einish yevolid bekarka zu yechayiv l'shalom. Any einish that occurs with this karka, so he will be mechayiv l'shmuchuiv l'shalom. Is afilu boy goy v'goz l'machmas hamecher. The goy comes and steals it based on the fact that the moicher really shouldn't have had it. So although we're not really sure that it's true that the moicher shouldn't have it, but the pale is taking it and he's timing. And if the goy stamas he takes it, so that's not that's not part of the achrayis. But the goy is taking it. Based on the fact that it's Machmus Hamecher is Chayiv L'Shalom, Avol Im Nifsa Kanor Shehoya Mashkoisa. If all of a sudden there's a person sells a piece of kark and he says, "I'm taking a chrys," any oynus that happens to this kark, I'm going to take a chrys. And Lepel, there was a nor that was always providing irrigation for this field, and all of a sudden this nor stopped flowing. It was a very, a, a very unusual thing. The nor all of a sudden stopped flowing. Oh. Oi, shechazer hanor lava betechi v'nasus brecha. Or fakert, the nor continued flow overflowed, and the entire karka became overflowed with the nor. So now it's like a big pool. It's a big pool of water. You can't plant anything in this field. Oi, shebei zava v'shchisei. So some type of an earthquake took place in this karka, and 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 and, and it was and and it, and it destroyed the karka. So then Hariza Potter. So even though the Moicher accepted upon himself that I'm selling you this piece of karka and I'm taking Achrayas for any oinus that occurs in the karka, because this is a type of oinus which he never really thought about. This is not something which he really expected. It's something which is completely unusual. So in other words, an oinus she'eni motzi is not considered b'chalat nai. We, we nem on that he meant a normal oinus. Masha'engin, when we're talking about not a normal oinus, so then, so then that wouldn't be included. Now the Ma'i says, you have to be if that's the case. So basically, a person is taking a chrayis. He's basically saying anything that happens in this field, which could be expected to happen, I'm a for. But anything that doesn't happen, that happens, which I'm not expected for, Expect, I know I don't expect it to happen, with, and it's something which doesn't fall, does, is, is, is fault and shine that it's going to happen, so that's not part of the Achrayis. So now, Lechuri, we have to go back to the beginning of the Allah. The Ram said, Lechuri, if the Pshar is that he's accepting upon himself Achrayis, and he's saying he's taking Achrayis, so Vaistus knows, is he taking only Achrayis of something that happens because of him, or he's taking any type of Achrayis? So if he's taking a chrys only that's something that's related to him, so it's the chpasha that if of Pascha Anora has nothing to do with him, so Mele is not taking a chrys. The fact that the Rambam has to say Behemshot that the reason why he's not a chrys for Pascha Anora is because it's an Enoshaini Motsu, is the Charaya, that he's taking a chrys only not not only in a chrys which is because of him, a chrys which is also not because of him. So if that's the case, so if a goy comes in Gozla without Machmas Hamecher, Stamaze, a goy comes in Gozla. 
So would that? So why isn't that included in Dachrei? So notice the pastors. You say Afilu Bogoi Vegodel Machmos Hamecher Chayiv because that's considered in Dachrei because his Dachrei is Machmosi. Mashein Kain if a goy was tamas a bov a gozlo, so then lechure lechure lechure. It's also an oynus which is possible to be. So why wouldn't that be included? Lechure is a shtikel or in Divrei Rambam. Because Mishnah says that it means to say it was Machmas Hamecha and not Machmas Halekech. Notice if the boy the guy was Gozla, Machmas Halekech, and notice so he wants to be Gozled from this Lekech, so then Taka the Mecher wasn't Mekabal Achrais. Even though the Mecher was Mekabal Achrais on Oynes, which is not Machmase, but he wasn't Mekabal Achrais, which is an Oynes, which is Machmas Halekech. So if a guy somehow or another has some business with this Lekech, and therefore the guy wants to Gozle from this Lekech, so that's not the type of achrayis which the moicher was makabel. So lochamol. So the moicher is definitely makabel achrayis which is machmosi. That's the pastor's advarm. Now we're saying a moicher is also makabel achrayis for an oynus which is not machmosi, as long as it's an oynus which is within the realms of possibility, something which a person could think that could possibly happen. It's an oynus, but he could think about, he could entertain it possibly happen. Now we're saying another din that if the oynus came machmos halakeach. So even though it's an oynus which could have happened, but on the other it's something that comes machmas alikeach, the moicher also wasn't the Kabbalah. That's where it has to be, that it came machmas ha-moicher. Allah chavof. V'hu adin l'chol t'nai shebe Now this we're talking about benigeya, the achrayis which a moicher accepts upon himself, and he accepted himself even the achrayis of an oynus, so we neman that we're only talking about an oynus, which is something which is within reason, type of oynus which is in reason. Mashiach in a type of oynus, which is something which is completely unexpected, so we don't assume that he was mekabel that achrayis. And I'll then I'll say, "Bechol tonight moment." Every time a person makes a tonight the moment is also aimed in das hamasna. We we assess the das of the person that made the tonight. The in koilun beisn at night el advarim hayuduim shebechlolim hoyat night. So even if though technically. This was part of the Tanai, but since we know that this is not something which this person even thought of, it's so, so far away, so we assume that we don't namon that that's part of the Tanai. Veheim shehoyu b'dasa masna b'shash shehisna. Only those Tanoyim that that dvarim hayuduim, shebechlol moya Tanai, things that which are known about, and those things that are something which is possible to entertain for it to happen, that's included in the Tanai. And then says example. Allah hazayin, ma'isa b'echot, he hired sailors to bring sesame to a certain place. And the hisni moimim made with them a tanai sheim chayovin bechol edes sheyer lem. Ad she yagia shum shimin l'mok complain. And as they are achroi for this shum shimin, if anything happens to this shum shimin, and it can't get there, they have to pay for the shum shimin. Whereas they're 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 kilo responsible to pay for the shum shimin unless they bring the shum shimin l'mok complain. Now the pale, they were they were transporting it, and the nifsa and all of a sudden the, the river dries up. So what would it mean? Since they're responsible for this shumshim, that was the deal. So they'd have to go and transport it by 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 by, uh, by on dry land. And that wasn't really what they were expecting to do. They were expecting it to be sailors. They were sailors. And now all of a sudden they since they made a tonight that they have to bring the shumshim to a certain place, that they're gonna have to start transporting it on dry land. So we say, no, this is an anus which is completely not expected. And therefore, that's not a part of the Tanai. In other words, they could turn back to the to the, to the the person that they made the Tanai with, and they say, listen, this is not what we expected. This is not what we committed ourselves. And therefore, we're not to transport the Shumshim any further and to be Chayev if we don't do that. Because, because, because we never really accept. We accepted ourselves to do it adasof, but only within reason. Mashaink is something that's not within reason. A type of inus that occurred, which is not within reason, like nifsek anur. That's not something which we ever accepted upon ourselves. So we learned. So we learned, look, there's a din when a person sells stamaze, so he's a chra- there's a chra- the chra- is only of the meicher. If something happens, machmas a meicher, so then mistom is a chra- is. If a person accepts upon himself a chra- is, so then it's a chra- is even shalei machmas a meicher, but on the other end, it has to be within reason, a, a type of oinus occurred, which he would have expected to happen. 
Now we have a fakerta situation. Amecha karkel chaveri, and vihis na amecha shaleiel of achrayis. It makes clearly that there's not going to be achrayis. So now we say afilu neida bevadi shizu aritz gzula. We know that it was never really the sellers. And v'yotzis miada lekeach and the lekeach it loses the field because the original owner proves that it's his field. It was never the sellers. Ain amecher chayev klum. The mecher is not chayev klum. Ain sorech leimar. And that's even if it's proven that it was the original, he was the original owner, and therefore the pastor, so it was never the Moichers. So it was the original owners, it's just that it was taken away from him because there was a lien on the field. Because Lepel, they made up clearly that Malach Roy, if anything happens, she called Nash, my mom and Kayim. So the Mela, since that's what the seller made up, and that's what the buyer accepted, so therefore it's 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 the same. Halachates. Ruven Shemacher Sodo Lishim and Shleiba Chrais. And Ubo Leva Veitzia Miat Shimon. Now Levi comes and takes it away from Shimon. So the Chure Be'emes Ruven is free because Ruven sold the Shleiba Chrais. Now the question is could Ruven go and call Levi to Adentera in order to mon the Karka back? Now we'll have to figure out what, what could Ruven do that Shimon can do. But Ruven went ahead and sold it to Shimon. Levi took it away from Shimon. And now Ruven wants to go and become the Baldover. So that the din is Amrotza Ruven Lassis Dinam Levi. If Ruven wants to be the one that's Oisa Dinam Levi, Oisa. But ain't Yochel Levi Leima Mali Veloch, but ain't no La Chachrais. No, you sold the field to Shimon. So Memele, I'm taking it away from Shimon. I have nothing to do with you. No, you don't have, if you would have to reimburse Shimon, so I understand you have a Taina. But over here, you're not going to have to reimburse Shimon. So Memele is just a dintere between Levi and Shimon. So, and you don't have a Chachrais. So where do you come in? So you say, no, Shari Ruven Emerle. I, I am the get because Lepel, I'm the one that sold it to Shimon. So I don't have to reimburse him, but I don't want Shimon to have Titus. I sold him a field and he lost it. So therefore, that gives me a right to be the one that's going to be Oymid bin Dintera. Now, the question is, what does it mean if he'll be Oymid bin Dintera? Whatever, whatever he says, Lahuri can tell Shimon to say, if he's the Oymid bin Dintera or he's not the Oymid bin Dintera. So the Magnishna says, that Moshe, let's say this karka was an apoitiki, an apoitiki, an apoitiki for, for this for this balchev. Now lepel the din is that an apoitiki, the, the original owner could be masalik the 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 of bezuzi, the balchev bezuzi. In other words, Ruvain made this karka an apoitiki for Levi. Now if Levi comes to take away the karka from Ruvain, so Ruvain could give him money and not let him take the karka, even though it's an apoitiki. Masha'in came if Reuven sold it to Shimon, and now Levi wants to take it away from Shimon, Shimon doesn't have really the right to be Masalik Levi Bezuzi because it was an apoitiki. But if Reuven comes in and he says, no, don't take it from Shimon, take it from me, and I, and I do have a right to be Masalik with, with Zuzi, so then Reuven could be Masalik with Zuzi. So that's this din. In other words, Reuven, it's not so clearly in the Rambam. The Rambam Reuven comes along and says, I'm the Baldom. Ratz and Reuven last said, didn't Levi Oysa. What, what are you going to gain by it? What you're going to gain is that Reuven is going to be able to give Levi, which is the Tevea, money, and through that he'll be able to be Maimed the Kesef Biachim, the Karka Biachim. Halacha Yud. Reuven Shemachar Sodo Lishim and Shalei Bachrais. Reuven sold the field to Shimon Shalei Bachrais, so even if they take it away from Shimon, Machmas Reuven, Reuven won't have to reimburse Shimon. Now, Vechaza Velokcha Mishimon Bachrais. Now Reuven went ahead. And bought that very field from Shimon Bachrais. So Reuven sold it to Shimon Shalei Bachrais. Shimon sold it back to Reuven Bachrais. Now Bob Balchev Shal Reuven, the Balchev Shal Reuven, and came Litrif Eisim Imanu. He's taking it away from Reuven while it's beyond Reuven. So Lechuren Reuven claims, listen, the field is being taken away from me, and I bought it from you. You said that you're Achroy if the field will be taken away from me. I'm not a chroy. Now, Lechur, if you're going to be a chroy, so I'm going to be a chroy towards you as well. Because Lechur, I sold it to you. So I said, no. I sold it to you, Shalei Bachrais. So I'm not a chroy for anything that happens towards you from this field. But on the other end, you sold it to me, Bachrais. So therefore, now that they're going to take away this field from me because I borrowed the money, so therefore, I'm going to come to you and ask you to reimburse me. So we say, no. Again, Ruven Shemach HaSad Lushim and Shalei Bachrais. Now, this Reuven went ahead and bought it back from Shimon, the buyer, Beachrais. Now, Abba, Balchev Shal Reuven, literally, the Balchev Shal Reuven is taking it from Reuven. 
Now Reuben wants to go back to Shimon and say, listen, I'm losing the field that you sold me, so I want you to give me back the money. So he says, Ain't the Yochel Azrael Shimon. I can't go back to Shimon and ask Shimon to reimburse. Reuben can't go back to Shimon and ask him to reimburse him. Why? Sha'apal Pishali, Kibulol of Achrais le Shimon. Even though knows if he would have been Makabal Achrais for Shimon, so obviously he can't go back to Shimon because he's going to go back to Shimon, so Shimon will come back to him and ask him for the money back because he's Achrais for Shimon. So we say no, even though he was never Makabal Achrais le Shimon, but Achrais Atzmi Kibul, he knows Le Fochas, he's Makabal Achrais for this. That he shouldn't be side the seller, and he sold the, the the field to Shimon, and 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 Lepel, he's going to go ahead and take the, the reimburse from Shimon for this same field that he's losing because of his loan. I'm not sure why Lechure. That's what he says in the Gemara. But Lechure could be much. Lechure would be very simple. Simple is that Shimon was makabel achrayis for Reuven. What can achrayis? If Reuven loses the field because of whatever reason, so then Shimon will reimburse him. But if Reuven loses the field because of Reuven, so the Chura Shimon was never Makabal, not Achrayis. The, the Ram doesn't say that. The Ram doesn't say that Shimon was never Makabal, Achrayis for Reuven, for Reuven's loss, Mitzad Atzmi. The Ram is only saying that even though Shimon is Tak Achroy to Reuven, but on the other hand, Reuven is going to be back Achroy to Shimon. I, Reuven, made up. Shalei Bachrais. The Shalei Bachrais doesn't refer to this case. In this case, Reuven is Achroy for Shimon. In other words, if Shimon is losing the field because of Reuven's loss, because of his own field, so then Reuven becomes responsible towards Shimon. So it works like, in other words, we're not saying Shimon is not entitled to the money, um, that Reuven is not entitled to the money, but Reuven is going to be entitled to the money from the Shimon, but now Reuven is going to have to pay it back to Shimon. Just saying, it sounds, it, it sounds very complicated. Lechur, it would be very simple. Reuven sold Shimon a field, Shalei Bachrais, so he's not Achroi. Now, Shimon sold a field to Reuven, Be'achrais. So we're saying Shimon is Achroi to Reuven. Shimon is Taka Achroi for Reuven, but only for, for a loan that's not Machmas Reuven. So in other words, this person, when he's coming to Reuven, he's not coming because Reuven, because of the field. Reuven owes him the money. So he's coming Machmas Reuven himself. So Mela could be for such a thing. Shimon was never Achroi. That's not what the Ram is saying. The Ram is saying, that Reuven knows, even though Reuven is not achroy to Shimon, but he's achroy to Shimon, Lefach is for such a type of loan, which will go. Which sounds like Shimon has to pay Reuven, but on the other hand, Reuven now has to reimburse Shimon for that loss that Shimon had to pay Reuven. And anyway, that's what it says here. Now this is talking about when they took it away from Reuven because of a loan that Reuven had. Now what happens if this karka is a karka, this karka that Reuven sold Shimon is a karka that he yashin from Yankif. He yashin from his father, Yankif. Now his lupel, the Balchayv of Yankov is coming to take away this field because Lepel Yankov owned the field and, and there was and Yankov borrowed money and there was a lien on this field, Mitzad Yankov. And now, now this very field that Yankov, that Ruvin bar, uh, Yarshin from Yankov, that there was a lien because of Yankov's, Yankov owed money. So now it was the same exact story. Ruvin sold it to Shimon with Arachrayas and now Shimon sold it to Ruvin with Achrayis. And now the Balchev of Yankov is taken away from Ruvin. Not the Balchev of Ruvin, the Balchev of Yankov. Avul and Bo Balchev shall Yankov of him. Vitor from the Yad Ruvin. So then it's Chezeb, B'chol Adam Mal Shomen. Then Ruvin could be reimbursed from Shimon. Why? Mepnei she Shimon kibolei Achrayis. Because a Shimon accepted Achrayis. So therefore, since Ruvin is ending up losing this field, so Shimon has to reimburse him. Or Ruvin le kibol Shimon Achrayis. Shal Achirim Klal. And Ruvin is not mechoyiv to reimburse Shimon at all, because even though Shimon also lost the field, or Shimon lost the field in the sense that he had to reimburse Reuven for the field, Abu Lepel, Reuven never accepted by himself a Christ. So in this case, Shimon will reimburse Reuven, and Reuven doesn't have to reimburse Shimon.